Hi, I'm Danny Walker. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, follow me on my social media, which is at Danny Walker, at Pageant Access, and at Miss MT USA. This is my first sit down Road to Miss USA video, and I have to give you guys updates and share with you what this is like. This has been a surreal experience. Whoa, my eyes are watering already just thinking about this. Whew. The day that I got crowned, I, I actually did a Miss Montana USA recap that I shared with you guys, a little bit of behind the scenes. But now I wanna start sharing with you the process of getting ready for Miss USA and what this actually looks like because it was something that I always wondered about and there are just so many new things to experience. Today, we are at FedEx and we're going to finish printing and ship out my official paperwork for Miss USA. This is remarkable. Okay, guys. It's okay. I'm about to submit my paperwork for the pageant, so this is literally how many papers I have to submit. There's a lot going on here. And essentially, it's just the same contract we submitted when we entered our state pageant, deadlines, checklists, um, agreements for sponsors, just basically signing off that I understand and I was informed that I got all this stuff for, from the sponsors. Um, and then cool stuff for Miss USA, like information about our local media in case there's an opportunity for interviews or anything like that in the press. Uh, that's basically it that I'm turning in. And then these are what's left of my sponsored thank you cards. So I'll be sending these out today. Some of our sponsors give us addresses and then some of them give us email addresses to thank them. So we like to use whatever option that they prefer. So sponsor thank yous, the emailed ones are done, paperwork is done, and then we'll be ready for more appearances. It's all done! Everything is shipped and ready to go. I'm ready for Miss USA, almost. So I thought that I was going to hit the ground running and do a million gazillion appearances and that just didn't happen because I was so sick. The other thing that I found out is that all appearances have to be approved. So I can't just go out into my community and do all these appearances. They have to go through my directors to make sure that they are legitimate appearances, that they are safe for us, and that it's not going to embarrass the Miss USA organization. So that all makes sense and I just wanted to share that with you guys because that's something I never knew about and it does make sense though because USA is such a great huge organization that they want to have some quality control. The first appearance I made was obviously through my directors and that was at the Color 8 local news station. That was incredible. It was my very first news interview ever where they were just talking to me. I had done some news segments in the past but I had never actually been featured and it wasn't just about me. I had just sort of been in the background like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> One of the experiences that for me was a bucket list thing was to do a news interview as Miss Montana. That was really great and I loved that my director set that up for me. Now the next thing that I did was go to the Miss Idaho USA pageant and that was incredible because it was great to sit back, relax, just cheer on the other contestants and then get to see my new Miss Idaho USA sister queen get crowned in the Idaho Teen USA. It was just a cool experience and I knew that as a title holder that was something that I would want to do is go to as many state pageants as I possibly can. Unfortunately during the Oregon USA pageant I am going to be in Virginia. This is crazy. I get to go volunteer with Sherry Hill and the USO and we're going to be serving the military families and helping their daughters find dresses for their special events. So that's something that I'm very much looking forward to. In the past I have worked with Glamour Gowns and Glamour Gowns partners with CASA. CASA is Court Appointed Special Advocates. So that organization helps girls in and boys in the foster care system get ready for prom. It was an incredible experience to be able to work with so many deserving children at that event, which also was sponsored by Chinese Laundry, which is a Miss USA sponsor. So it's cool how everything ties in together and how there's a lot of relationships and it's a small world in the pageant industry. So I have had experience working and helping dress all of the foster care youth. So this is going to be something that I am just really looking forward to. It's going to be in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and I've never been to Virginia. I have been to the East Coast. I've been to New Jersey and New York and... 
a few other places and but I've never gotten to experience Virginia Beach now the other thing that I didn't expect was so many opportunities to travel a lot of our sponsors happen to be in Washington because that is where our directors are based out of in March I will be attending the beauty brand believe expo which I highly recommend for any pageant girls out there it's open to any pageant systems and you get to go and meet with the best in the pageant industry from interview coaches walking coaches a wardrobe specialists and these I'm telling you are the best in the business and, and the best part of that for me last year was really just finding a renewed sense of encouragement so if you guys can check that out go for it and the same weekend is going to be the inaugural Global Beauty Awards, which is also produced by my state directors. It's incredible. It is the first award show, international award show of its kind, where we are recognizing professionals in the beauty and pageant industry. How cool is that? There's going to be awards for best title holder, which is amazing, right? So it's cool to be recognized by your peers. I will be there and I'm telling you, if you guys want to go, just do it. Save up and go. I am preparing to go to that in March and that sounds really far down the road, but I have to pay for my own air going there and possibly my own hotel if I can't find a sponsor for that. So I have to prepare financially for that. And like I said, a lot of our sponsors are there. So I want to spend an extended amount of time there so I can be meeting with each of them. And before then, we do have other sponsors out of state. For example, we have a photographer in Las Vegas that I want to shoot with. And then we also have a dentist sponsor in Utah. So that's going to be my next trip. So right after Virginia, I am planning a way to get to Utah to go meet with that sponsor so my teeth can be ready for the Miss USA stage. So I thought that as a title holder, I had anticipated that I would just be doing all of these appearances, but what I have realized is there is a time limit on all of these things, and a lot of them you can't do the month before Miss USA or even three months before USA. So I have shifted a little bit in this process, and right now I'm trying to work with all of our sponsors as soon as I can and get all of my Miss USA prep out of the way because no matter what, win or lose at Miss USA, I still have a lot of other appearances and goals for myself as Miss Montana, but what I've realized is those can be done towards the end of my reign, and this stuff has to be done now so I'll be ready for Miss USA. To be honest I have a fire lit under me because of all of your guys' encouragement. I can't believe how many of you believe in me and that's crazy. I just really had no idea what faith you all had in me and it's really inspired me to go all in for this so I am doing my best right now. I have gone out gown shopping several times. I already have an idea of what I want for a dress, but I want to make sure that what I envision is what makes me feel good. So I've been searching for similar styles at different stores to try on to see like, okay, is this a dress that I really, really want? Under the advice of many different queens and coaches, they said that I should immediately go find a Miss USA gown because I do know that some couture styles can take up to three months to be made. So even though I'm really, really sick, I want to make the most of this entire experience, start the gown shopping early, at least get an idea of what I want. Uh, the latest I can probably pick a gown is around March because that's when I'll be at the Beauty Brand Believe Expo and when our pageant sponsors are going to be meeting with us there to design the gown or to get the gown. So I want to know what I want well ahead of time and just try on every different style and every different color to make sure that I feel really great and confident on stage. So now I am I'm on my way to start the search for gowns. I am in downtown LA today to start the search for my Miss USA gown. I am going to try on a gazillion dresses today to see what style shape color that I want a lot of girls ask me about gowns and they say I am 5'2 and I have red hair and my features are this this and this and they ask me what looks good on me I don't know you have to try on the dresses that's a part of this whole process is trying on a million it's kind of like searching for a wedding dress you just have to go and try them on if you can if there are no gown stores by you, then unfortunately you may have to order online. But in this case, I am here, so I have traveled in order to be able to do this. And now I'm ready to begin the search for my Miss USA gown. Can I please be a DR model, please? Look at this. A little, a little big. 
I am fully devoted to preparing for Miss USA at this time because things like a gown you might need at least three months before you can get that made and like I said going to Washington and meeting with all of our sponsors if I go to our dentist sponsor and they decide we are going to give you Invisalign again that that that's a process that takes a little bit of time and it's something that I need to start as soon as possible. So I am right now just working really hard with our sponsors and I'm excited to be able to share all of that with you as, as that's happening. And the other exciting thing is because I have been sharing so much on social media is that we keep picking up more and more sponsors for Miss Montana USA. And what you might not know is if you sponsor Miss Montana, you actually have to sponsor the rest of the pageants Northwest Queens because it's fair you don't want to have you know a big price package for one state and not for the other so I thought that was really great so not only is Montana getting new sponsors but all of our pageants Northwest title holders are so everybody gets to benefit from that and that was just really exciting to me to see so many more people who have been a part of my journey come and support me and my sister queens. And I feel so fortunate about that. So I am going to be meeting with some more sponsors in the very, very near future. And I will be sharing about that with you guys and vlogging it. And just like I did for Miss Montana USA, I will be filming the behind the scenes things. So some of that will be coming out after Miss USA happens. Please be sure to follow me on my new social media at Miss MT USA. That is on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Snapchat, still struggling with that trying to figure that out. And then you guys can all also follow me on Facebook as well at Miss Montana USA. And then my normal social media at Pageant Access and at Danny Walker. Thank you very much for joining me in this journey. I cannot wait to share so much more with you this year. Please be sure just to follow, subscribe, and I'll give you guys all the updates that I have when I have them. Thanks for watching this episode.